2017 APAC Women in Transportation Forum kicked off. Danang, one more hospital chosen for serving APAC. Vietnam jumps five spots in Global Competitiveness Index 2017-2018. Hello, it's great to see you back in the RT News. Within the framework of the APAC 2017 Women and Economy Forum, on September the 27th, the Ministry of Transport, in collaboration with relevant agencies, organized the 2017 APAC Women in Transport Station Forum theme, Gaging Progress, Moving Forward. Being organized for the third time, the forum has attracted more than 150 delegates representing management agencies, international organizations, businesses and entrepreneurs in the transport sector from the 21 APAC member economies. The forum served as a good chance for the APAC delegates to discuss and share experience and initiatives of women from the APAC member economies, significantly contributing to the development of transportation. Speaking at the forum, Representative of the host country Vietnam said that, according to the statistics, currently Vietnam has 45 million female workers, only 25% of whom are working in the transport sector. The rate is very modest, so the forum provided an opportunity for Vietnam to exchange, share and find out effective solutions to achieving the goal of enhancing women empowerment in the transport sector. On September the 27th, Deputy Minister of Health Le Wang Kung announced the establishment decision and cut the ribbon to inaugurate the VMAC International General Hospital in Da Nang, the host city of the APAC Economic Leaders Week. The VMAC Da Nang International General Hospital has a total investment of more than 1,200 billion dollars. This 222-bed hospital will be able to serve thousands of tons of medical examination and treatment each year in specialized departments of which its outstanding services are emergency resuscitation, cardiovascular intervention and diagnostic imaging. This is one among four health facilities in Da Nang selected to serve the APAC Pack Economic Leaders Week 2017. The Global Competitiveness Report 2017-2018 showed the lift of two Southeast Asian countries of Vietnam and Indonesia. Accordingly, Vietnam's economy has made great strides, jumping five sports from last year and 20 sports from five years ago to the 55th place out of 137 countries. According to the Global Competitiveness Report, the World Economic Forum evaluates countries based on the seven-point scale. Accordingly, in the Global Competitiveness Index 2017-2018, Vietnam scored 4.4 points compared to 4.31 points of last year. Vietnam is recognized for noticeable improvements in technological readiness and labor market efficiency. In addition, trade is another big factor helping Vietnam move forward, ranking 7th in terms of import ratio and 11th in terms of export ratio compared to GDP. The report suggests suggests that, although the withdrawal of the U.S. from the Trans-Pacific Partnership in early 2017 eliminated significant trade opportunities, the country's growth is nonetheless projected to remain robust from strong exports. Vietnam is facing many challenges, stemming from the urban explosion and rapid urbanization across the country. The solution for sustainable development of urban areas in Vietnam is the content presented at the workshop entitled Smart Cities, which has just been held in Hanoi. Vietnam currently has nearly 800 urban areas nationwide. However, the competitiveness index of Vietnam's transport infrastructure in the 2015-2016 phase only ranked 67th out of 138 countries. The rapid urbanization has led to a boom in population and increasingly serious traffic jams. Vietnam has seen an increasing demand for smart traffic applications such as electronic toll collection to enter city center or electronic payment for public parking services. Therefore, the Ministry of Transport is planning to build a national framework for the application of smart transport in urban areas, representative from the Ministry of Construction also made a proposal for a roadmap on developing smart urban areas in Vietnam. 
In the Paris Climate Change Agreement, Vietnam pledged to cut its greenhouse gas emissions by 8% by 2030. However, in order to reach the target, Vietnam must put forward solutions to preventing deforestation and forest degradation, as well as improving the livelihoods of forest-dependent people. The National Red Plus Program has been approved by the Prime Minister. According to the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, in order to achieve the set target, the close coordination among sectors is required to prevent the risk of deforestation and forest degradation. The project is scheduled to run until 2025, with the ambitious goal to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and increase the absorption of about 33 million tons of carbon dioxide equivalent. According to experts, Vietnam can only allocate itself 3.2 billion US dollars to achieve the 25 emission reduction target, while the remaining of 17.8 billion US dollars is in need of international support. On September the 28th morning, the Da Nang People's Committee and the CD Department of Industry and Trade jointly held a training workshop on brand development, sales promotion and online marketing. At the training course, representatives of about 100 enterprises located in the city were introduced to a number of topics such as brand building skills in online environment, building and supervising sales, marketing, Facebook marketing solution. The participants also discussed a number of specific requirements for label and package design when organizing and participating in trade promotion events. Business representatives also made many questions relating to the hot issues focusing on the online marketing and effective use of mass media in business activities. As of September 2017, Danang has 17,200 operating businesses, completed registration for online tax payment, accounting for 98%. In particular, the rate of electronic tax invoices reaches 71.6%, electronic payment to the state budget reaches 54.8%. In order to fulfill the target of having at least 95% of businesses implementing online tax payment set by the General Department of Tax the Danaktization Department has synchronously put forward many specific solutions to accomplish the objectives of the entire sector. So far, the General Department of Taxation signed agreements to launch online tax payment services with more than 40 commercial banks nationwide. Taxpayers could look for detailed information on the General Department of Taxation website at the address noptheu.gdt.gov.vn. There are currently more than 70,000 family businesses in Da Nang. According to the Municipal Institute for Socioeconomic Development Studies, Da Nang can achieve the target of having 40,000 enterprises if 2 to 3 percent of the family businesses can be converted to operate as enterprises each year. In order to achieve the target by 2020, Da Nang can have up to 30,000 enterprises. In addition to supporting the startup movement, the city needs to focus on encouraging and supporting the conversion of family businesses to enterprises. The outcomes of the Economic Census 2017 states that the city together with districts will reveal and encourage those which are operating as family businesses to evolve their businesses to enterprises. Moreover, the government will create an urban environment and simplify the paperwork procedures to support them convert their types of business. With the objective of making 2017 the agricultural year towards scientific and technological application, Hoang District has built a project of promoting the application of high technology in agriculture to increase productivity and product quality catering urban demand. Accordingly, the district has set the targets of 10 to 20 percent specialized farming area applied with high technology and two to three labor and brand names established annually. Currently, the Dana Construction Planning Institute has cooperated with Harvang District People's Committee to develop the planning of seven specialized production areas in the district. 
in order to support and facilitate enterprises investment in this new field. In the coming time, Hoang District will establish facilities offering supporting services for developing high-tech agriculture and build legal framework for enterprises to approach preferential policies. That's all we have for today's news. Don't forget to log on to drt.dalnock.vn for more news and updates. Thank you for being with us and see you next time.